Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about a concept called encapsulation and I'm going to walk you through an example of how a message is sent from a source to a destination. So let's consider the source here. It wants to send a message M to this destination. Message is the technical terminology used for the, an information in the application layer that the source creates. So once the source creates an application layer message, what happens is it passes it onto the transport layer. In the transport layer, there is an additional header information that's added, which is H with the subscript T here. <coughs> and uh, a transport layer message is actually called a segment. It then moves one layer below to the network layer where additional headers are added and, the, and it's called a datagram. From the datagram, it then passes, uh, from the network layer, it passes onto the link layer. Once again, additional uh, headers are added and a, and a, net, and a link layer message uh, is called a frame. From this, from this source, now the link, the packets are going to be put onto the physical link connecting this source to the switch here. And so this packet is going to move all the way through the switch up to the router. Now at the router, it's for the router is first, the packet is going to, uh, to move up to the link layer. One of the headers, as you see, the link layer header is removed and then the packet moves on to the network layer. Once it has moved on to the network layer, it's again going to the the, <coughs> the link layer header is once again going to be added so it's going to basically move up this protocol stack and then move one more time along this protocol stack and then reach the destination at the destination each of these headers are going to be stripped as it as the as this packet moves up uh, the protocol stack and once once it reaches the destination only the message m is left so the important thing to note here is that uh, is that headers are added as a <clears throat> as a message passes through the different layers of the protocol stack and at the source and they're removed uh, at the destination or or even in an intermediate router when the packet moves up the protocol stack another important thing to note here is that only the end hosts have all the five layers implemented. For example, the end hosts here, the source and destination, have all the five layers starting from the application all the way up to the physical. We will see as we move along this course is that the routers which are uh, which are uh, hosts within the internet only have three layers that are implemented. That's the physical link and network. They do not have a, a transport and an application layer in them. The switches, on the other hand, are a layer two device and they do not have the network layer implemented in them. So the, so the thing to note is that only end hosts have all the five layers implemented in them while, uh, while other devices such as switches and routers only have uh, two and three links uh, and three layers implemented in them respectively.